So this is going to be a quick video to show you how to turn a simple, poorly recorded vocal like this Where are you? into a turdy portal sound uh, effect like this. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Whoa! Um, so the basis of this is um, just extreme pitch correction informant shift. Um, so we actually have a tool in Reason, uh, Neptune, that will do pretty much all of this for us. Um, I'm going to take the pitch adjust off for now so that we could add in one aspect at a time. Um, but let me adjust my loop so that I can play it and hear it as it changes. Um, but yeah, we're going to adjust the format. The format is basically going to adjust the uh, another common term is gender, because um, if you turn it up, it makes it sound more feminine. If you turn it down, it sounds more masculine. Um, and we're going to do about quarter turn. Different voices need different amounts of formant shift, um, but also mess around with it because you can get some other cool effects uh, using the formant shift. So let's go ahead and play it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So already we sort of have this this portally uh, sound, um, and really. Where are you? It sounds pretty good, um, but it's not quite robotic enough. It sounds a little bit too fluid. Um, so we're gonna make it a little bit more choppy and um, robotic by doing some hard pitch correction. Um, so I'm gonna turn on the pitch adjust and choose a scale. I'm just going to do C major for now. Um, you could change it to whatever song you're doing. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and play it and turn this correction speed up slowly. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So the correction speed is basically the amount of time that takes um, when it detects a note and you know, when it detects a pitch how long it takes to bend to the precise pitch instead of in between two different pitches. So if we have it all the way up, it's constantly locking it exactly into the right pitch so it gets this more mechanical, uh, non-natural sound. Where are you? It's still sort of going all over the place though, just because my, my vocal rendition uh, is not very precise. I'm not a singer by any means, um, but even singers, uh, they'll have vibrato and it won't stay right on the pitch. Um, so what what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click, uh, create a track for the Neptune, and we're actually going to play what we want the notes to bend to. Um, so if I go ahead and play this back, where are you? And play notes. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I can play what notes I want uh, it, the, the vocal to be bent to. So I'm going to go ahead and record this. Where are you? Where are you? Where? So just really simple three notes. You can go ahead and get a little bit more complicated. And I like played the scale up over here and then back down and give it a little bit more of a sort of bending sound. Where are you? But still fairly um, exact. Or over here, I actually use the pitch bend to get the effect. Where are you? Um, and that is becoming less mechanical, but it, um, sometimes you might want that more fluid pitch bend. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much our basic effect. Where are you? The only thing that I did up here is I added um, some slight EQing, a little bit of reverb, and uh, some distortion um, just to make it sound, give it a bit more of an effect sound. Where are you? Um, sound like this. Where are you? Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope, hopefully this is helpful to someone and hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks.